So Troy is taking us to a few different places around town today. Troy, why don't you tell us a little bit about this place? This is what it's like to live in the most culturally, ethnically diverse city in North America, Houston. Oh yeah, yeah. We're celebrating, commemorating, observing the day of the day. We're starting. It's just one of my favorite places um, year round. Guadalupana with my favorite juice, the Vampire. Check this place out, folks. Hey, yeah. let me give this a try. Be stir. Are you supposed to just mm. mm. refreshing? You gonna want another piece? Get in on yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Yeah. Sir, could you tell us again wh what what's the name of this one? Oh, which one? Ojaldra. 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 This is a uh, holy bread, Mexican holy bread. We are going to Urban Eats next. The ultimate um, witnessing of. Day of the Dead right. are the altars. And so we're going to see two two displays of altars. I'm down. So we're here at Urban Eats, our next destination, where Ernesto Guerra has an art installation for Dia de los Muertos. The atmosphere here is electrifying. It's beautiful. Come on down and check it out. Check it out. Troy. Yo. What's your favorite part of Day of the Dead? Oh. The art. The, the art. The color. Just, just, everything is so vibrant. The celebration of, of, of ancestry, of, of, of culture. Deep culture. It's, it's deep culture. It's beautiful. I love the idea of, um, Commemoration. Ancestors. Yes, ancestors, spirituality. Yes. Celebration of life. Celebration of life. It's sensual, it's, you know, it's, it's got some realism. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Yes. It's not Halloween for sure. No, it's not, it's not Halloween. This is much deeper. Mecca and the Dia de los Muertos celebration is in full effect. The atmosphere out here is electrifying and you guys will love it. It's amazing to see this this celebration. As a native, to see how far this organization has has traveled to become the epicenter of culture that it is today is just beautiful. It's beautiful to witness. Thank you, Mecca. Salud, 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 salud. 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 See, this is the anatomy of the altar. Okay? See how the cross is? Yeah. Cross. And then you put pictures, which are the images of the dead person that you're celebrating the altar for. And this is a whole celebration of life. 
It's and salvation and life and passing to the other life. So you're not mourning their death at all. You're That's it. You're celebrating life. Absolutely. That's how come you have all these colors and you're supposed to put the dead person's favorite food, favorite drinks, all, uh, everything that reminds you of that person right. and their persona, that's what you put. Okay. And that's what you have the different significances. Okay? I think I was trying to say something like this earlier today. What does it mean to live in the most culturally diverse, in the most culturally ethnically diverse city in North America? Houston. Well, it means that I get a chance to experience the world in my backyard. Of course, you know, nothing takes the place of travel. But what I so appreciate about Houston, there's a, a multiplicity of authentic cultural experiences that I can participate in. And I mean, not be a visitor, but, but really be engaged and really be received and welcomed. And, you know, um, I'm so honored to be living in a place where that's just the, the cultural norm. That's, that's the ritual of, of how we live. Um, and, and those are the experiences that I wish to share through these four real tools. So I'll be sharing more of that through Facebook. Um, check out the city on your own with family, with friends, or with us. But most importantly, get out and explore and experience the world in your backyard. Ernesto Guero actually has an art installation going on for Dia de, 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 de los Muertos. Um, the atmosphere here is electrifying, it's fantastic. Troy's looking good. He's buff. <laughs> <laughs> there was a yell. Very good. I like that one. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> 